What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie recipe, we have got a comfort food classic makeover. We are making a chicken and broccoli casserole that you do not want to miss. Instead of the traditional rice, we're gonna be using in, of course, the glow up of 2019 and 2018, cauliflower, that's right. Cauliflower rice is gonna come through again and save the day, but I'm gonna show you a really easy and quick trick and really important trick so that way your finished product does not come out to be some really soupy mess. This is also a budget friendly recipe because we're going to be subbing in some rotisserie chicken but in case you prep too much chicken or you overcook your chicken and it is like bone dry, it's the traditional struggle chicken, then you can actually use that in this recipe today. And yes, this recipe is also a nod to all of the low carb and keto dieters out there. So yes, even though I'm not doing keto, I respect that a lot of people out there are trying to live their best life on a low carb plan. So today, I got y'all covered. All right guys, if you're ready to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, then let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is grab a rotisserie chicken, save yourself some time, pull off the skin, and then take out all of the chicken meat. And you're not gonna use all of it, so we're gonna go for about a pound, pound and a half. And this is perfect, this is more than enough. Then take a sharp knife and just chop it into pieces. In less than three minutes you have all your prep work done for the protein. And just be sure that as you're chopping it up, you remove any small bones. You don't want those creeping into the final casserole. And as another time saver, grab a bag of some frozen cauliflower rice, pop it into the microwave for about four or five minutes, and then we're gonna add this to our dish as well. What I like to do is I like to squeeze out all of the excess water and moisture because cauliflower tends to hold a lot of water, which is a really good thing but sometimes whenever you're making casseroles, it can make the final product come out really soupy. We don't want that. So just take it, let it cool down a little bit, and then just squeeze out some of the excess water. To a really large bowl, we're gonna add in some chicken, our steamed cauliflower rice, a pop of color with some bell pepper, some onion, some broccoli or some broccolini, some fresh garlic, some rosemary, some cumin, and some smoked paprika. And now to add in the cream. So first I've got here some milk. If you are on keto or doing something that's really high fat, then use heavy cream. We're gonna split the milk with a little bit of Greek yogurt and then some cream cheese. Then grab a spatula and mix everything together. And you're gonna wanna mash down the cream cheese and this go all the way to the bottom of the bowl and fold in the chicken. Okay, so once it's all been thoroughly mixed together, we're gonna take a little bit of sea salt and some pepper and then mix it up one more time. Then grab a baking pan, spray it with a little oil just to make sure it doesn't stick and add in our chicken and broccoli cauliflower casserole. Oh, and lastly, what is chicken, broccoli and rice casserole without a little cheese? So we're gonna top it off with a little bit of cheddar then cover and cook this for about 30, 35 minutes in the oven at 400. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this smells so amazing. And after about 35 minutes, here you go. Ah, it's, a, it's a work of art. It just, it looks like art, doesn't it? I, I cannot wait to slice into this bad boy. Ah, there's so much goodness. All right, the part that I, you know, I live for, the taste test. Let me get a piece of that cheese on top. Oh. I love a little bit of burned cheese. Ooh, no way this is hanging. Look at it, look at it. Watch it fall, watch it fall. <laughs> okay. Okay. I go keto just for this. <laughs> There's a lot of spice, a lot of flavor because we added in the cumin and the smoked paprika. So it's not your whole traditional broccoli and chicken casserole dish. It's got a little bit of zest to it, a lot more personality. And I think that's good because, especially when it's low carb, you want something that's satisfying, that's also gonna keep your palate guessing. That's good. You gonna try it, Jesse? Go ahead, would you go keto for this? Probably not, but. That's the quest. A little bit salt made. Mm. It's like a new kind of fancy, like having something to salt your salt bite your for food you like every time you take a bite. There you go, oh, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's what rich people do. Okay, maybe I would go keto. Yeah, that's pretty really? good. That's really good? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty that's dope, really guys. Good. It's really good. Put this one on the weekly rotation. 
And what I also love about it, that we packed in so many other veggies. A lot of times people just rely on the cheese and everything else, but there's chicken in here. We got the cheese, we got the cream, and we cut part of the calories by adding just milk. If you wanna go higher calorie, it doesn't really need it. You can use some heavy cream. But really, we use cauliflower and we packed in some broccolini. Just makes this much more satisfying. I don't know what more you want. This right here is a keeper. You'll love it. You're gonna love it. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. But most importantly, I hope that you all enjoy making this wonderful, amazing, low-carb chicken and broccoli casserole dish. You are going to love it. Your family will love it. I like to play around with the spices, so really just make it your own. If you're not a fan of cumin, then add in some, in some cardamom maybe. Add in some coriander. Add in things that you really like to make it palatable for you and your family. All right, guys, if you like stuff like this, and I invite you to smash that like button below. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we post hot new content here. All right, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, keep it low carb. Just kidding. Just keep it never boring. Wait, let's do that one more time. That was the worst outro ever. Let's just run that right back. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, and sometimes low carb. Ciao.